In the following video, an AC signal is applied to a transformer whose input coil has 200 turns and whose output coil has 200 turns. Record the output voltage of the transformer for several different input voltage settings. Make a plot of the output versus input voltage using Logger Pro. Stop the video now, plot your data, and answer the following questions. 1. How does the shape of your graph compare to what is expected for a transformer with the same number of turns on the primary and secondary coils? Number 2. If you found any difference between your experimental results and the theory found in your textbook, provide a possible reason for the difference. In experiment 2, the A signal is now applied to a transformer whose primary coil has 200 turns and its output coil, the secondary coil, has 400 turns. Do the same thing as in the first experiment. Record your input and output voltages and plot your results on Logger Pro. You can put this graph on the same graph as your first graph. Stop this video, plot your graph, and then answer the following questions. How does the shape of this graph compare to the shape of your first graph? How does the ratio of the slopes from the second experiment to the first experiment compare to the ratio of the secondary to primary coils windings from the second to the first experiment? In experiment 3, we do the same thing as the two previous experiments, except that our secondary coil now has 800 turns. Your graph of output to input voltage should now have three curves on it. How does the shape of this third experimental curve compare to your previous two? How does the ratio of the slope from the experiments of this experiment to the first experiment compare to the ratio of the secondary to primary coil turns from this experiment to the first experiment? We now repeat the experiment using a secondary coil of 1600 turns. Add this curve of output to input voltage to your Logger Pro graph.
Having completed four experiments, what conclusions can you now draw concerning the graph of the output voltage to the input voltage of a transformer? What is its shape? What determines the nature of that shape? For instance, if it's a straight line, what determines the slope? If it's a parabola, what determines the coefficients a, b, and c? What is different about an experimental graph that you've done compared to what the book's theory says? What factors may be influencing any discrepancies between this? Determine these factors and be prepared to discuss them in class.